Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the Shinio, and I'm here to talk about some wrestling news. I want to do one uh, quick wrestling news before the uh, WrestleMania uh, press conference. Um, in a, just in about three hours, uh, 7 p.m. on Peacock. So I want to do wrestling news. Uh, there's quite a few things I want to talk about. Um, we just got this news about 40 minutes ago. Uh, of who will be hosting tonight for the WrestleMania press conference kickoff tonight from Las Vegas Team Mobile Arena. CM Punk and Big E along with Pat and Cole, Pat McAfee, will be hosting tonight's WrestleMania press event. And this is very interesting. CM Punk hosting uh, tonight. Great to see Punk and B Big E being included. And maybe he could talk some sense into Cody, or maybe Rock or Punk can Rock could have a fire uh, promo. And what this thing will be streamed basically everywhere. Peacock YouTube. I'm just interested to see how this press conference goes. And Triple H, um, there's a video from WWE. Uh, he said, "In quote, I think I think we're going we're going to light the world up today." This is like another episode of one of the weekly shows, except this has so much more hype. Are they going to hit us with something we don't expect? Or are they just going to do the fucking typical, oh yeah, Cody Roman official. But what the hell do they have planned for tonight? It better be huge, because they're hyping this up a lot. If it's just for, oh yeah, the Rock and Roman's official, it'll just be disappointing. Maybe there's still a chance for a triple threat, but it's just the amount of hype that's going to this press conference is insane just for a damn press conference. So we've got through the first two things, and... Ooh. Next thing, ooh. This really irked my... irked me when I heard this. So The Rock, on the Pat McAfee show, calls out the Cody Crybabies. It just baffles me how people like this guy's promos in 2024. Oh yeah, candy ass. Fruity pebbles. Like, do people really enjoy this in 2024? Oh yeah, bro. And he's a thing-hungry, bald-headed son of a bitch. Remember when John Cena said, Oh, I was, just about, used to, I was like all these people used to like The Rock. Until he met Dwayne Johnson. Cody has showed nothing but respect for The Rock. And, and The Rock, after his last movie, flops says, Oh yeah, I'm going to come back and be a fucking crybaby. It's how ironic he's calling people the crybabies when he's the one that went into business for himself and stole the main event. And The Rock goes on to say this also on the Pat McAfee show. The Rock says this, Those Cody crybabies, the ones for every ten tweets, they're shoving a chicken McNugget in their mouth. Every 20 tweets, they're shoving two McNuggets up their ass. So cringe, dude. All you gotta do is sit back, know your role, shut your mouth, and enjoy the ride that Rock is gonna take Take your candy asses on. Is gonna hashtag shut your bitch asses up. Hashtag Cody Crybabies. Yeah. So cringe, dude. I don't think we're the Crybabies, Rock, if you're the one acknowledging knowledge not acknowledging the rock if this leads to rock and roman steel this match better get fucking booed out of the building they had no problem i had i still want to be in ha still want to be in happy still would have wanted cody but the problem began when you politically took that fight that's what fans don't like they don't like being politically driven Including me and most of the people on the internet. This is just cringe. Who, who the fuck can people justify this shit? And it's literally the same problem. Oh yeah, candy ass. Candy ass, pal. Fuck is candy ass. Who enjoys that shit in 2024? I'm sorry. Just this always irked me so bad. And at the end of the day, I know it. I know it, you know it, we know it, Roman knows it, Cody knows it, his fans know it, that at the end of the day, the Robert vs. Roman Reigns is a capital T, capital H, capital E. 
the biggest main event in the history of WrestleMania. Probably the worst main event in WrestleMania. The Rock will be gassed getting to the ring. The Rock and Roman Reigns, and I'll end it there, they all know it. He also said that in the Pat McAfee show. Cody's, Cody finishing his story is better than Roman and Rock. Goodbye. Okay. It's the wrong timing and the wrong book, and you made your biggest baby face look like a fucking idiot. Like, I don't, it's this company, dude. I can't even say the company, it's it's literally just Dwayne. Like, it's literally just Dwayne The Rock Johnson being a fucking asshole and an egotistical. An egotistical. Maybe name wise you can say it is, but in ring wise, hell no! Rock is literally fucking a fucking crybaby. I swear. And Cody Rhodes post on Instagram uh, the about noon. He said he's made his decision. Do the right thing. Triple threat. I don't care. I'm desperate. I'm desperate. I, I want tr- at least a triple threat. I do not want Cody to have to face Seth fuck, fucking Seth Rollins again. Win the title. Just he doesn't want the fucking title. He said in an interview he doesn't want to wrestle him again. Like, who this one? This uh, another thing rocks had Pat McAfee show. They got my blood boiling. He he talked about the reaction from the fans. End quote. I expected. And we expected it because it's right there. And you go back and again. You look, like to think, hey, I got my finger on the pulse. We all try to keep the finger on the pulse. Obviously, what the fans want and what they're saying, and oftentimes in sports, entertainment, anywhere, there's a wave of noise that happens right out of the gate that you just want to put pause for a second. Let's not make any rash decisions. Let's wait and see how it all shakes out and see what happens from there. So, just a matter of waiting. So now was so now was not surprised at it. At, at, at it, did ex, I did expect it, but but here's the fun part: love Cody, love his passionate fans. Then there's the other passionate Cody fans, and they're called cry, cry baby, Cody cry babies. These are grown ass men. Cody's got to finish his story. It's like, wait a second, hold on. Hey, Dad, want to go outside and play catch with me? Not now. Cody's going to finish his story, and I'm upset. Wife comes in. Hey, honey, you want to go home and have sex? Not now. Cody's got to finish his story. You know, John Cena was right when he called Dwayne an egotistical son of a bitch. This is just The Rock's ego. Talking. So, the Rock literally spilling nonsense here. I don't even know what he was saying. Sounded like he was the crybaby in that from all the heat he's been getting. He thought everyone would love him, but now he's pouting because everybody was fucking booing him, chanting Rocky sucks. So we expected the backlash for the decisions and still went ahead with it. But I'm not surprised, man. He's part of the TKO board. He doesn't care what the fans think because he's an egotistical son of a bitch. And he just shit all over Cody's fans and buried Cody just in that sentence. And I like how he says Cody crybaby. He's like, he, he literally comes back Think people will love him, and then, and then he gets fucking booed. So WWE NXT's uh, Amari Miller confirms she's no longer with NXT. Apparently, she went through a, a lot of injuries and depression. I guess got the best of her. So she did have a little bit of potential. Uh, so that's all for my the wrestling news here. That I wanted to uh, talk about. But, you know, I want to get wrestling news out for the press conference tonight because I'll do a video for it. Uh, I'm looking forward to the press conference. Just uh, hopefully uh, Cody uh, gets a triple threat. So, yeah, it's really up to see you until next time I'm out. Peace.